Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. It is here, the patch has hit us and we have the chance to get the new ships. Now before I do this I have to share one message I got from Ramirez. <laughs> he sent me a picture looking a little bit like me. So shout out to you, yes I for sure will do that. Now. Let's take a look what we have here. We have the SS FSV 830. Um, it is now available already in some space stations, so start looking around. Very interesting. We also already have the limited time um, tech files. Great. In six days, it will be available for official authorization. That means it is. Um, obtainable through the ship and aircraft blueprints and I don't think through the generic tech files that wouldn't make any sense um, and the research agreement and then the last one it will go into the um, blueprint technology files 2.0 so it's a little bit strange because they say it's ship and aircraft blueprint files here and then they say it again here. So my understanding is from what I look here it should be available in um, the research agreement. It should also be already available in our boxes. So I don't really get the last point. If you understand it, if you know the difference, let me know in the comments. Um, Let's see, here we have go to research, here we have go to trade. Ah, the stage is locked. Okay, um, probably that's the reason why I don't yet understand it. We also got the Corvette and I was very curious. So when we go to the tech files, we can already now see this Corvette and damn, this is a really hard hitting torpedo system. 1180 damage per hit. And we have three of these torpedo launchers installed. So that's 3792 damage per minute. And there we already can see um, we only shoot around one time per minute. We do have a duration of 38 seconds and a cooldown of 18 seconds. So this thing goes in and only gives out a shot every um, 56 seconds. Unfortunately, I cannot yet say how much we can improve this. If this is um, easily to like um, scale down with a system enhancement, this could be amazing because I mean 1180 that goes through most of the armor very easily. First targets, carriers, battle cruisers, cruisers, and then the new auxiliary auxiliary ships. So um, pretty nice. We do have a very high siege damage for Corvette here. That's also something, um, yeah, worth to mention. And um, yeah, that's it. It's only one weapon system. Very easy. It is maybe also important to note. Um, it can go on the AC. 271 up to our solar veil and cv 3000 so there's no new mechanics that this corvette could not go into the small ships um, that's a good thing to note one thing i also want to point out here with these tech files we can only get fighters and corvettes but they did not change the um, chance to get a blueprint it's still 10 percent to get a blueprint so if you are trying to get fighters and corvettes this could be very interesting for you because there's nothing else inside and for the corvettes there's no generic cor uh, yeah there's no generic corvette for the fighters um i mean they are they are good so if you still need them um good chance to get some of them now if we go into the black market, the price is also surprisingly reasonable. I was expecting it would be higher, like um, at least 300 Proxima coins. And we can buy 10 of each. Luckily, I do have 
enough Proxima coins. So what I'm now going to do is I will get all of these and we will see if we get lucky enough to get the blueprint. Um, you guys know I'm really hot for... Um, yeah, I have to show it to you, sure. Um, I'm really hot for the FSV 830. Here we have the beauty. Um, 40 comment points. Good. Um, I was already worried that it might be even more. But let's be honest. Um, we will put them into the reinforcement anyhow. So um, we do have some new mechanics here. Custom module storage repair queues one. Um, no idea if we can. In oh. See there. We can click on this. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so we can increase the repair speed. We can reduce the prefab module cost. That's nice. Um, that's the mining stuff. Okay, all the tech points are pretty low here. Um, increase custom module storage for auxiliary ships by five and then also some additional damage. If we take a look at this, we have only 3000 damage. I would not go for any damage. Also, I don't see um, any weapon system installed here. So, um, warning and control systems, reducing hit rates from torpedoes. Um, reducing chance of back row ships in the fleet being hit. So this is going to all your ships in the back row. Very interesting. Um, reducing the chance for mid row ships to get hit by slow web uh, by torpedoes here. And I'm oh, sorry, projectile weapons two times. And then here slow weapons. Slow weapons are energy weapons. So um, that's pretty nice it's a completely new uh, mechanic that we can um, protect our whole fleet with this i do like that and here we do have the production the frigate production system um yeah we can reduce the cost and everything at the maximum common points owned by the auxiliary ship by eight. Okay, so yeah, I will. I really need to get one of these. So let's start with the corvette and buy. Oh, okay. Only the first file is is um cheaper. Okay, yeah. So now that explains a lot. That um now I understand why the prices are yeah this way. Okay, so let's see if we will get lucky. Um, we do have double tech points here. Also something always very welcome. Um, so, yeah. Double tech points. I think it was also instant research. We will see this as soon as I get to the tech points. If not, that video will be over very quickly. Because I will not be able to get more. I'm still trying, no, sorry, I'm trying to get up my Vitas B10. So, plus two tech points, very welcome. Yeah, okay, it is instant, perfect. So, here's the next one. Uh, we know when we have this white um, shimmering around the box, then we will not get a blueprint. We will need to see a blue shimmering around the box to yeah receive a blueprint oh we only get one tech point here oh, that was two okay um so yeah now i will not have enough um proxima coins to buy everything so i will go for the chance to get the fsv 830 here I was so excited that all of these boxes are cheaper, but um, yeah, that would have been too nice. Um, but yeah, anyhow, we do have a chance to get the ship, so let's let's try white shimmering. So that is nothing. Um, oh, here we have double research points, not double tech points, as it looks like. Yeah. Research points times two. So um, if you try to get uh, um, FSV, then you will get double research points. If you try to get uh, um, Corvette, then you will get double tech points. 
but at least both of these boxes are instant research so we don't have to wait till um till we get everything researched i will have a lot of research points there um unfortunately our server is very close to the end so i will start another research here um before the ships will go into the research database otherwise i will just lose my open research um, agreement and i don't want to lose that Okay, so all the boxes were unfortunately shimmering in white color, so we didn't get any blueprint. We got some tech points for battle cruisers, which is always good. Um, but I was on the unlucky side of RNG today. This were more than 10 boxes. I should have a 10% chance to get a blueprint, but I didn't get any blueprint. But yeah, always keep in mind, even if you get a blueprint, it could have been a frigate or something you absolutely don't want. So chances to get the ship with these um, boxes is pretty low. Much higher chances will come as soon as we can get it inside the research agreement. So that would be the point where I would recommend you... Um, Focus on that, try to get the research agreement up, try to get your um, blueprints from that. It is the best option you have um, if you want to target specific blueprints. Now, I hope you will have more luck trying to get the new blueprints and... Um, I wish you all the best on that and let me know in the comments if you bought the boxes and what you got out of them. Besides that, as always, give the video thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.